Pakistan is situated in a complex geostrategic environment with ever vibrant flux around its boundaries. Although it has weathered all odds to uphold its sovereignty, yet the surrounding volatile scenario warrants an impregnable defense that is based on self-reliance and indigenization. Cognizant of this fact, Pakistan Air Force embarked upon the voyage of self-reliance by establishing Pakistan Aeronautical Complex, PAC Kamra, way back in the early 70s. The pioneering Air Marshal Sheikh Mohammed Said worked day and night to transform this vision into reality. Ever since its inception, PAC has played a key role in meeting aviation-related requirements of the Pakistan Air Force be it the repair and maintenance facilities of its fleet or research and development in emerging technologies. Production and co-production of quality trainer aircraft like Karakoram 8 and Super Mushak and the indigenous manufacturing of a state-of-the-art fighter aircraft JF-17 Thunder are the testimony of our envisaged vision which steered Pakistan's aviation industry into a new era of indigenization and self-reliance. To build on the rich and hard-earned experience of our workforce in technological and production domains, the Air Chief envisioned harnessing this great potential for self-reliance and indigenization. Thus, dawned in the idea of building an aviation city at Kamra. At the heart of this mega project lies the Air University Aerospace and Aviation Campus, which is modeled after the internationally acclaimed aviation universities in the world. The concept is to prepare scholars, leaders, and managers to have effective and efficient human resource that can play a pivotal role in the success of this industry. The establishment of Air University Aerospace and Aviation Campus at PAC is the realization of CS vision for the future directions of Pakistan's aviation industry serving the needs of Pakistan Air Force. The co-location of academia with the aviation industrial hub of Pakistan has created the much needed enabling environment. This would encourage the researchers both in academia as well as in the industry to collaborate on projects of applied nature. Its curriculum would focus hands-on learning in state-of-the-art maintenance and avionic repair facilities and first-class simulation centers. To harness the potential of research and development available at PAC and other public-private organizations, an aviation research, indigenization and development setup would be established in the aviation city. It would primarily focus multidisciplinary R&D in specific technologies and ensure that these efforts are focused towards technology development of the PAF fleet. The Aviation City would also house the Aviation Design Institute, which would be the first multidisciplinary research center created to leverage the growing R&D potential of PAF. The Aviation Design Institute is the premier R&D institute for development of state products using cutting edge technologies. The Aviation Design Institute shall be the key enabler for developing future technologies and aviation products for realization of indigenous high performance aviation platforms. Public and private engineering setups for indigenous capability enhancement. The Institute would focus capability enhancement of the existing PAF fleet, particularly the JF-17, with well-crafted academia centers for aviation design, research and development. This matchless venture would establish the much-needed industry academia linkage to benefit from each other's expertise. This historic initiative taking birth in the close proximity of PAC would serve as an ideal launching pad for both academic as well as research institutions 
to produce highly skilled professionals required by the industry for carrying out various indigenous development projects. It would also help in building a robust national aviation industry with a cluster of harmonized players, both in private and public domains. The fusion of civil and military industries with academia under the much needed patronage of government would promote innovation and entrepreneurship, eventually leading to a strong national productive capital. Moreover, EAC Gamra being the leading part of the city would also have its own product line to embark on high-tech aerospace vehicles, thereby making it a leading center of aviation industry in the region. It is envisaged that this aviation city would not only cater for the educational needs of the youth, but also create better employment opportunities for the people in the surrounding areas. It would also serve to promote indigenization in the truest sense and translate the dream of self-reliance into reality. Pakistan Air Force continues to remain the basic pivot and the central position of the national security dynamics of Pakistan. This is a responsibility that the PF leadership and every individual has that in its blood. They prove time and again that we came forward when it came to the national security of Pakistan and emerged on the top. The way the geostrategic environment is shaping we cannot absolve ourselves from this responsibility at all. And the only path that we have for ourselves is indigenization. Pakistan Aeronautical Complex has been the backbone of the PF operational dynamics. But then that's the beginning. And the ASTAF's combined vision was to take this beginning forward. But then it required the basic academic background. It required certification agency. It required a complete integration of all these. And that is where the Air University, Aerospace and Aviation Campus is taking its birth today. We are all together now, whether it is the Air University, the academia body, the certification agency, design institute, the Everett, all to work together to make sure that the PF gets best of the capabilities. We sincerely hope and pray that this mega project makes progress in leaps and bounds and one day becomes the source of pride for the entire nation.